Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a 2.6 earthquake along the Cascadia Fault Zone. This is an area of the fault zone that's been locked for a long time, has a lot of energy stored up. This earthquake was deep, showing subduction between the North American Plate and Juan de Fuca. It was 49.3 kilometers, which is about 30 miles in depth from sea level. Yeah, this is not a good sign. There was also a 3.2 earthquake uh, near Redway, California. This is near the Gorda, Gorda Plate, the Triple Junction, Mendocino Triple Junction. Just a few days ago, I did um, a report about the 4.5 they had um, near Port Orford, Oregon. That was on the 30th of this month. There was four earthquakes during that time period of the 30th. The largest being 4.5. There was also a 2.1, a 2.3, and a 3.5. This area is definitely showing stress, and it can only take so much stress, and like a rubber band, it will break. Because this area here, along the Cascadia uh, fault zone, has been locked for so long. Earthquakes along here are really rare, and this is very significant. Portland had a 1.2 earthquake, and I talked about that area before in the Seattle area, um, the Seattle Fault Zone. So, what are your thoughts? I hope you have a plan. Um, if there is a large earthquake, um, you would have only time to probably evacuate straight up. So many people take it for granted that, you know, it'll never happen in their lifetime, but it probably will. And there's been a lot of talk that uh, yeah, it's coming very soon. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please subscribe. Please thumbs up my videos. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.